Alright guys, quick update. Um, valve covers are off. Got the old injectors pulled. New injectors are in and torqued. I did that last night. Probably go through and just torque those hold down bolts one more time just to make sure that uh, everything's good and snug. Um, kind of an oily mess down in here to clean up because I unhooked that high pressure oil line. I've also got the plenums pulled off. Getting that cleaned up and uh, ready to put the um, the magic Ford silicone on there to put these back together. Uh, here's a picture of that. This is part number um, TA31, I believe. Yeah, you see that there? TA31. So, it's good stuff. Um, I, I really wouldn't recommend using anything else on these motors. Uh, this is what they use on the um, oil pans and um, just about everywhere else on these 7.3s. Went ahead and tested my glow plugs since I had them out. All eight of those are good. Uh, these are Biru glow plugs. I think that's the uh, OEM manufacturer for Motocraft. Um, it's good stuff. I mean, ZD11s, they work well. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and put back in. Um, got some things together here. We're getting uh, turbo cleaned up. I capped off that hole. Um, Capped off the, the rod from the exhaust back pressure valve. Uh, that thing decided to start oozing oil, so best practice is just to cap it off. I tapped it out for a quarter inch NPT and plugged it there. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, we'll start putting this thing back together. Um, see if we can uh, make some smoke. So that's where we're at. I'll uh, bring you back in here when I've got something to show you. All right, guys, we're back. What do you think of that? We've got uh, plenums bolted on, valve covers on, and put a little paint on them while they were out. Um, I just put uh, two bolts in each valve cover, and um, we're going to clear all the oil from the cylinders. Uh, when you pull the injectors on these, all of the fuel and oil, all of the oil from the rails inside the heads. Um, that all drains into the cylinders. So you need to be careful when you start putting things back together that you remember to bleed all of that oil and fuel out of there or you'll hydrolock the motor and um, can mess some things up. So uh, the best thing to do is put your new injectors in. Um, if you don't put the new injectors in, you're just pumping more oil and more fuel into the cylinders. So you put the new injectors in, um, pull the glow plugs out of every single cylinder. So I've got all eight glow plugs out, and then uh, it's probably a best practice just to turn it over by hand. Some guys say that's not necessary, but um, you can actually do that right here on the alternator. Um, you just put a, put a socket on there. It doesn't matter if you spin it forward or backwards. All you're trying to do is move those, those uh, pistons up and down and push the oil out of those cylinders. The oil will all come out if you crank it with the, the starter, um, but it's pushing it out through a pretty small hole, so it's best um, just to uh, crank it over a couple times by hand, just kind of clear everything out. And then uh, you want to crank it with the starter, really kind of bl blow those cylinders out and kind of clean them up. So the best way to do that is um, to do that from under the hood here. Um, this is a, a five-speed truck, so if you got a five-speed truck, before you do this, make sure, make sure, make sure that your emergency brake is set and the truck is in neutral. Uh, we're going to bypass all the safeties in order to um, engage the starter. So if the truck is in gear, um, if the clutch is out, it's still going to crank and it'll move. So uh, make sure it's in neutral before you do this. So I've got everything in place there. I'm going to try and do this and um, crank it over, show you what to do. Uh, what we're going to do is use a screwdriver and bridge the two large terminals 
on the starter relay. Now that bypasses all of the ignition and everything that's going to allow us not to fire the injectors, not to start the electric fuel pump on this truck, uh, but to go ahead and crank the engine over just to blow all that oil out. So just take, uh, take your screwdriver. <laughs> That's about all you need to do. So we're just blowing all the stuff out of those cylinders. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go one step further. I'm going to pull one of these rails in uh, the oil gallery and I'm going to start putting some oil in there. Um, I had everything all opened up. I actually disconnected a high pressure oil line to the head here and it takes an awful long time for the low pressure pump to pump that much oil up here to fill the, the high pressure oil reservoir again and then to fill both of these few. Uh, high pressure oil rails. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of prime it. Um, I'm going to dump some some oil in there just to kind of save us a little bit of cranking time and uh, we'll see what happens here in a minute. So I'll uh, crank it a little bit more here just to make sure we got all the oil blown out. Then I'm going to pull these valve covers off again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, glow plugs back in. I'm going to recheck the torque on the injector hold down bolts and then uh, we'll start putting things back together for the last time here. So that's um, kind of where we're at this morning. All right, guys, well, here we are. Uh, everything's back together. I did um, kind of prime the high pressure oil system by filling both oil rails. Since this one also has electric fuel on it, I kind of primed the fuel system. I just jumpered the relay on the fuel pump and let it run until I couldn't hear air bubbles anymore. So we're going to give this a shot. I just did an oil change on this. So it's got fresh Rotella in it. Um, going to give this thing a shot and see how it goes. So kind of the, the rule of thumb for this is crank for about 45 seconds and then let it sit for a minute or two to let the starter cool um, and then go again uh, for another 45 seconds without stopping. Uh, it just takes a while to prime that high pressure oil system, get all the air out so that it builds pressure and uh, lets the engine start. So that's kind of where we're at. I've got a battery charger on there to hopefully kind of keep the batteries up. These are fairly new batteries though, so I'm hoping that won't be an issue. Let's um, see what happens.